So I've been fascinated by bone conduction technology for a long time now, and I always suspected it could be a wonderful thing for people with hearing loss, vestibular disorders, or hearing disorders like tinnitus, uh, because with bone conduction headphones, the vibrations of sound are transmitted through the bones of the head or the face directly to the inner ear. So I went out and bought the best pair of bone conduction headphones that I could get my hands on. They are made by a company called Aftershocks, and they are called the Trex Titanium, and they are wireless. So what's it like? Well, let's get into it. After several hours of, of listening to music and podcasts, I can safely say that it's a very unique audio experience. Uh, the biggest distinction here is going to be the open ear design. Now, because the sound is transmitted transmitted as vibration through the cheekbones directly to the inner ear, it leaves your ear canals wide open. So this makes for a really interesting experience as you're able to maintain situational awareness. You can still hear everything that's going on around you, which is a good thing, uh, especially if you're like me and you like to listen to music as you ride your bike or if you like to exercise outside. Um, another big difference here is that while you're listening, you can feel the vibrations on your cheek. While this isn't a bad thing, uh, in fact, sometimes it adds a little bit to the experience, um, it is something that you do have to get used to. Well, here's the bottom line. Uh, they don't sound as good as a set of high quality headphones. And as a self-proclaimed audiophile, that kind of thing is really important to me. But they don't sound bad. Uh, in fact, they sound a lot better than I expected them to sound. Now, I haven't tried any other bone conduction headphones for comparison here, uh, but in reviews across the internet, the Trex Titanium is unanimously the clear uh, winner of what's the best of the best available for consumers. Uh, so there's plenty of bass. The high notes came in very clearly. Uh, at higher volumes, it did become a little bit distorted. Um, but overall, the music came in clearly and it was more than sufficient. Like, it wasn't bad at all. The music came in as good as the set of earbuds that will come with most smartphones these days. Like the ones that come with your iPhone or your Android phone. What's it like to wear it? Are they comfortable? Well, the Trex Titanium are very light. Uh, which ultimately makes them very comfortable to wear for a long period of time. They wrap around the back of your head, as you can see, uh, over the top of your ears and sit just in front of your ears, pressing lightly into your cheekbones. Now, I didn't have any problems wearing them for any extended period of time. Uh, the only possible issue here as far as comfort would be that this wraparound headband will be bumped if you lay down with them on or if you sit back in a big... Uh, like lazy boy style chair or a couch. I imagine wearing a jacket or a clothing with a hood uh, could be an issue here as well as it could mess with the, the headband and cause the placement to, to move. But otherwise, they're very comfortable to wear. Now the Trex Titanium also has some additional features that keep it in line with uh, the latest generation of other wireless headphones. So they feature dual microphones on the front here for taking phone calls. Uh, volume control buttons back here and a button to play or pause the audio on the left side. The phone features are great for people with hearing, partial hearing loss as it can make it much easier to hear the person you're speaking to uh, than simply holding a phone up to your ear. Call quality is great through the headphones, though on the other end, uh, my wife Megan told me it sounded like I was on speakerphone, though she did say that she could hear me clearly. Now pairing it and setting up, pairing the Bluetooth and setting up the headphones uh, was a breeze. Um, on both my Galaxy S8 smartphone and my MacBook Pro. Uh, there's a multi-pairing feature as well that allows you to pair it to multiple devices and switch between them. Uh, so that's a nice bonus too. Uh, the battery lasts about six hours on a single charge, although you can get a version uh, for about half the price uh, that's wired and doesn't require batteries. Um, and they're also uh, sweat resistant and water resistant. Now they're not waterproof, but if you're exercising with them on, uh, it's, it, it can handle you know, however much you're sweating and you know, whatever, whatever weather conditions you're out in, it'll be fine. Uh, the only downsides to these were that during exercise, minor adjustments are sometimes necessary to make sure the contact points are set correctly. Sometimes they get jostled or moved around. Um, and so you gotta, you have to kind of adjust them a little bit. Um, but 
Otherwise, they stay on pretty well and, and stay in place pretty well. Also, sound leakage uh, is an issue at higher volumes, uh, or in other words, people can hear what you're listening to around you. The transducers are ultimately a speaker designed in a way to transmit the vibration, but it's still a speaker. So if you have the volume turned up, there's a good chance that people will be able to hear what you're listening to. Not necessarily a bad thing, something to be aware of. I do recommend them. I think they're all in all a great set of headphones. They're extremely well made. Um, I, I was testing them with my tinnitus to use them for masking to see if there was an, any major differences between these and, and a normal set of headphones. Uh, I found that it was a little bit more comfortable because I didn't have to have anything in my ears. Um, and I found the overall experience to be very positive, and so I do recommend them. I do recommend them for you guys, especially if you have hearing loss, you may find that it's very helpful. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm gonna start to do more of these reviews from time to time and just show you some interesting products that uh, might be helpful to you guys in the future. So that's all for me today. Take care, everybody.